Okay, we're now inside your caravan and over over the actual main habitation door, you'll find your main two control panels. The one on the right is the mains power supply and your 12 volt power uh, system. And the one to the left is a heater and hot water system. I'm gonna show you the, the one on the right first, the power, so that we can actually have some light in here so that when I'm showing you the heater and hot water, you can actually see what I'm doing. So the main button in the middle just says power. It's exactly what it says it is. That was your main power. Once you've got that, if you just press levels on it, it will then stay on for you so that's it set up and on that's your main power next to it just on the left you've got water pump by pressing that you'll then hear the priming noise of the water filling in the pipes in order to make it nice and pressurized ready to use the hot water system and the cold water so if you hear the noise once you've turned that on don't panic it's perfectly normal it'll stop after a few seconds here is an indicator um, that that how much power you've got in your in your leisure battery if you're not on two fours and that's not showing just by pressing this button in the middle it would then show you how much power you've got left in your in your leisure battery um this little light here is telling us that we've got we're actually put up onto mains hookup therefore it's going to show your leisure battery is being full anyway because obviously it's taking power from the 230 system uh, if you were plugged into the back of the car you could also by pressing this button here see what power the uh, the car vehicle battery's got also so that is your main control panel to the right of it here you've got your your fire alarm which is very important and your carbon monoxide tester coming now to the heating and hot water system uh, it's a truma system very easy to use uh, and does does a great job of keeping both uh, you and the water nice and nice and warm bottom left hand button is the power on button the one to the right of it is the onboard heating the one next to it is a power supply so that's determined by either gas, electric, or you can use it on mix. Uh, for today's exercise, I'm just going to teach you how to use it on 230 and or gas. Because to be honest, that's what most people would ever use it on. And then the, the last one which shows you the shower head is actually the, uh, the water itself. So to turn your hot water on. And you use it by pressing these various buttons here. Up and down in your temperatures. And after every command, you press the set button in the middle. So we're going to turn the system on. And then we're going to go for the heating first and we're going to set it to 19 degrees and press set so we've now set the heating to go up to 19 degrees and if you look here we've got a choice of uh, choice of options so we can have 230 power on 4 amp 230 on 8 amp gas powered so we're going to do it on 234 amp a lot of the caravan parks make the pit the the power available on a pitch quite low uh, a lot of them are only six amps if you have it on eight amp there's a good chance quite often you'll be going back out to to your hookup point and flicking up the switch so if you work it on the four it'll be perfectly adequate anyway so just to go back over it we've done the heating on we've moved it to 19 and press set our method of of, of power is electric and we press set and then heating it's either off you can see the cursor to the left water zero or if you push it down one and then press set our water will now heat up to 60 degrees when you're finished and you don't want to use the van you know you're, you're packing up ready to go home having hopefully had a great weekend away or, or, or your, your adventures what have you just press and hold the button it will then start to flash and it will power down Okay, I'm now going to show you how you use your Fetford three-way fridge. Uh, it's a very modern fridge, so it's really easy to use. Your main on and off button is here on the left, the black button. Okay, your return button is the grey one in the middle. And then you've got an arrow left and right cursors in order to move it through the motions. So you press, hold and turn it on. And it's now on on mains power. So there's your mains, your mains power symbol. Uh, and it's on on number three. You don't ever need it to go any more than three. A lot of people make 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 the mistake of making it all the way over to the far end to get it colder, get it colder. The fridge then tries to work too hard and actually works not as good. In order to change your method, you press and hold in the middle button and then you can move it along. So now it's showing back that it's it's on leisure battery or on gas. So you just move your cursor to where you want it. So we're now going to set it as if we're going to have it on the leisure battery and I've sent over the command and we're going to move it down to two and again I press the middle button to save the command so I've now set it set it 
to be on to. Okay, I'm now at the front of the caravan, uh, looking out of the front window down to the right, underneath the right hand side bench seat, and you've got your main control panel here. You don't normally need to do anything on here, but if you shut the van down for the winter, you have got a solar panel on the roof of this van. If you sh shut down your van for the winter, there's two main things you need to do down here. The button here that says shut down system, press that, everything will go off and everything will be as is. Your solar panel on the top will still trickle charge your leisure battery, that which you're positive but everything else will be off. The other important thing to do at that point is just down to the right here, you'll see the yellow the yellow switch just down by my finger, which is down in the in the long ways position. Just flick that up to the top, open all the taps around the caravan, it will empty out any water that's on board and it will stop any, any damage from frost in the winter in your pipes. If you ever have any heat, any issues on board with anything tripping out, this is where you'll find it. So you can just reset, just reset the fuses here. Okay, we're now in the uh, the final part of what I'm going to show you today, uh, which is your onboard bathroom. Okay, you've got an electric flush swivel bowl cassette toilet, and by that it means that you can move the toilet seat in order to give yourself more leg space if required. The flusher is up on the top, just above the door, uh, ab above the, uh, the toilet. The little blue button on the top flushes your fresh water through. And down here is a handle that I told you earlier on when we were outside to open and close inside your cassette toilet. Okay. Um, the rest of the van is fairly straightforward. It's things like sockets and switches and lights. Um, we will let you find them yourselves. All your cupboard doors have a button on. That's pretend, That's there in order to ensure that things don't fall out of the cupboard when in transit. So when opening cupboard doors, it's important that you press the buttons to open the doors rather than just pulling them. Just pulling them will, will just break, break your catches. Um, hopefully uh, the video is informative for you. We thank you for your custom here at Conway. We hope you enjoy your van. Look back on the video if there's anything that you've forgotten at any time. And of course, we're on the end of the phone for you 24-7 pretty much. Thank you, have a good day, stay safe.